<laughs> oh, folks, 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 where do I start in this video? Where, where, where am I going to start? Rocky, do you really, really think for one minute? Rocky, do, do, come on, Rocky. Do you think for one single solitary minute that we believe what you, I mean, that cockamamie story that you provided on Twitter? Rocky, Rocky, no, stop, stop, Rocky. Okay? Cut the shit, Rocky. Cut the, cut, cut, cut Rocky, Rocky don't, don't, don't you lie to us. Rocky L. Pennington gets popped. Now, okay, they said that the suspension is only six months. They were going to give her two years, but they, they reduced it to six months because they said that she was fully cooperating, really. <laughs> so Rocky L. Pennington says that she was taking medication to treat a medical condition. You know, DHEA was in the medication. So you mean to say Rocky said, well, you know, I, I don't want y'all thinking I'm cheating. I didn't. I fully cooperated with USADA. I just didn't check the status of these medications in a timely manner. So, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you stupid? Your livelihood is connected to what medicines, anything you put in your body, your livelihood is connected and you didn't check it in a timely manner. See, that's why I'm not buying this because don't, don't they all get caught when, when they get caught. They always say that it's a doctor's excuse, you know, or, you know, um, they got a medical condition. Don't they all have, have a medical condition? Y'all don't they all do? I don't buy this crap from Raquel Pennington. I don't buy it at all. Listen, you, what well, she's 11 and eight, 11 and nine in MMA. Okay, her career is just taking a drastic turn after a car wreck. And you got to get back in the game, don't you? You got to get back in the game, baby. And what does she got to do? Hey, you know what? Let's take a little something. You know, we'll take a little something. You know, we'll take some pills. You know, they use this. And, you know, she probably had somebody that tell her, you know, they use this to treat this. Okay, so it'll be legal. You can just tell USADA that, that you got a medical condition. It happens all the time, man. Happens all the time. And the first thing that these fighters always say is that, you know, it, 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 I got a medical use exemption. You know, isn't that funny, man? Isn't that funny how the MMA community, boy, they came down on Chris Cyborg. They still talking about Chris Cyborg from getting caught popping 10 years ago. And then Chris, she had a medical use exemption for a diuretic. I, I remember a couple years back and people saying, uh oh, Chris Cyborg back to cheating again. She back to cheating. Well, look, hey, hey. Y'all better get Rocky up penitent some work because this girl got caught trying to. Don't say you wasn't trying to cheat. Listen, man, any fighter that tell me that you're, you're so careless about this stuff that you didn't get the status of the medications and checked in a timely manner, are you stupid? Your whole livelihood is what you do. You, you use your body as a weapon to go fight, to make money. And you don't check the status of any kind of medication that go in your body. I don't believe it. She got caught trying to pop. That's my story, and I am sticking to it. She got caught trying to pop, then try to be honest about it. Try to be honest and tell them, okay? Probably found out, you know, probably so dumb, didn't even know that DHEA was on a medical, I mean, it was only, uh, it, you know, you can't have it. It was on a banned substance list. Then when she figured out, you know, read the ingredients, probably that last minute, then tried to say, oh, damn, damn, uh, got something in there. You know, I just got to tell them that I was taking this. Of course, Raquel Pennington done already got the benefits. I'm going to tell you what they need to do, man. Any fights that she had, any fights that Raquel Pennington had, okay, post dated back from whenever, whenever they took the sample, any fights that she had within that range, look, <laughs> them fights need to be overturned. They need to be overturned. Remember how people was getting on John Jones' ass? Y'all remember that? Okay. Oh, they were giving John Jones hell. Giving them hell, John Jones this, John Jones, no, 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 no. See, I want some of you same people that come to my channel. When I got something to say about John Jones, you right there, yep, John Jones is an F up. John Jones, no, 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 no. I need y'all to come to this channel, and I need y'all to tell me how bad she messing up. How bad she is effing up. You take medicine and you don't check the status of it? I, <laughs> amazing. Amazing. No, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to tell USADA, okay? If you got a medical condition, you tell USADA, you tell them what drug you're taking. You ask them, is it okay? Okay? 
if there's something in there, if you have to have the drug to treat a, a medical condition, okay, before you start it, before you, you know you're going to take it, you saw to already got to clear it. They already got to clear you. They ain't mm -hmm. trying to hear that, man. You're supposed to check. You're supposed to check. Okay? And that just, it just is what it is. You got caught. You got popped. And now, you know what? I, I, she should have got two years. They should have gave her 24 months. They should have did it. And I wish they would have did it. I wish they would have did it. I mean, we're so quick, man, to throw the, you throw the hammer of justice down on Cyborg and people like John Jones, okay? Oh, we're so quick to do that. Now we need to let the hammer drop on Rocky Pennington. Cheating is cheating. I don't care if she got an exemption. Hey, she got popped for it. She got popped. Now what? You see, folks, this is what I'm talking about. I don't want to hear nobody mouth, okay? Don't, I don't want to hear nobody mouth. I'm talking about John Jones. I don't want to hear your mouth unless you got something to say about this, okay? Don't tell. Matter of fact, they ain't making no more videos about John Jones. You, you, I mean, you know why? I've made plenty of them. I'm done, okay? And I remember, man, when I made a video about Chris Cyborg, I, I mean, I'm sorry, when uh, I, um, Ashley Evan Smith got popped, I remember that. She got popped and got put out for nine months. And then, you know, I said, hey, y'all keep talking about Chris Cyborg. How come y'all not talking about Ashley Evan Smith? And, you know, people would say, hey, well, you know, Ashley Evan Smith, man, she's not even popular like that. Like, are you stupid? So, okay, the fact that she's not popular as Chris Cyborg, that still means it's okay for her to pop. Oh, we ain't worried about her. She ain't on the radar. Rocky L. Pennington, I guess she ain't on the radar. So we ain't going to make a big fuss about this. That's okay. I'm going to make a fuss about it. I'm going to make a fuss about it. There's no room in a sport for people taking these performance-enhancing drugs. It's just no room. I even think had it been Valentina, had it been Juliana Pena, it could have been, man, people would be losing their crap right now, losing their damn mind. See? See? You know, the reason why the bullet's so good is not because of her skill. It'll be because, of you know, she uses steroids. Uh, you know, I, I, I can see people right now. I can see people right now. Or, you know, had it been Amanda Nunes... Oh, well, see, you see, Amanda got all that knockout power, but but I understand why she got the knockout power, because uh, she on PEDs. And I remember people used to try to pin the PED thing on Amanda. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Amanda Nunes mm -hmm. don't even look like she takes stairs. She look like she got a, a, a body like a triathlon, a triathlete. Amanda Nunes ain't taking no drugs, but people used to try to put that on her. They used to be, oh, man, she's taking that, man, she's knocking people out, man. Yeah, she on drugs. Well, here go who on drugs right here, you know? And I tell you, boy, let me tell you something. The pressure of being a fighter in the UFC is great, especially when you have to win. When you're on the downside of your career and things ain't going so good. Look, man, Rocky Pennington is human. She human. You know, hey, guess what she wanted to do? You know, listen, the, the, the last later part of her career ain't going so well. She 11 and 9 in MMA. OK, you know, taking ass whoopings after the car accident, just, just getting beat or getting beat up by people who shouldn't beat you up. Just take an ass whooping. So what do you do? You need an edge. You need an edge. The pressure getting to you. You need an edge. You need something that's going to help you. Some point, some way, somehow. So what do you do? Okay. Get a couple of friends or you get, you know, hey, take this right here, man. Hey, look, it's got, it's got this in there to help you. But, okay, but if it's a medical, they use it to treat this kind of medical condition. So you take it, you'll be okay. You just got to tell you Sada. Man, come on. The game, we already know the game. We already know the game. Or you know what she did? She probably took it. She probably took it and then found out later, okay, after she had been tested, found out later that, that it's got DHEA in it. Probably found out after the fact. So, you know, you got to come up with a story. Look, fighters do this stuff all the time. This ain't nothing new. Just, just fess up to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did it, but I wasn't trying to cheat. Sure, you were trying to cheat. Of course you were trying to cheat. That's exactly what you were trying to do. I'm not buying her, her what she said. Hey, please read the facts. Nah, I ain't reading that. Look, I read what you said. I read the facts, and it just don't, it don't jive with me right now. It don't. It don't jive with me. Nope, I'm not trying to hear it. It don't, it, it don't sound legit. It don't sound authentic. Know what I mean? It don't sound authentic. Nah, nah, Rocky. Nah, Rocky, we got you. The WMMA universe is undefeated. Oh, the WMMA universe is undefeated. Rocky, we know what you were trying to do. We know this. We know. Hey, a lot of pressure being you, huh? You know, uh, look, man, she get to come back in May. Okay, look, uh, it, was, it was already retroactive. For these next three months, Rocky Pennington going to you know, chase Tisha Torres around the house. Uh, you know, she's going to do the horizontal polka. 
come back after that, and then she's going to be trying to fight again. I wonder what she's going to start taking now that won't show up on the banned substance list. I wonder what she's going to do next. Right. Medical condition. Yep, you got a medical condition called loseritis. Mm-hmm.